Hey everybody, Life's Journey at 50 here. So I had a great pleasure at March Mode of Madness to sit down with two out of the three GS Trophy uh, team members. Kirk Graydon and Billy DeWitt um, were uh, nice enough to sit down with me and have a little conversation just about uh, their experience, kind of expectations, and just to give you guys a, a little insight into what they're thinking uh, going into this year's competition. Sorry, uh, Scott, uh, Scott Atchison uh, wasn't able to join us. Uh, he had some things, to, personal things to take care of uh, back home and we missed you, Scott. So uh, too bad you weren't part of the conversation. Uh, I'm sure it would have livened it up a little bit, but, uh, uh, but it's always good to get uh, their perspective on kind of what they go through. So uh, it's going to be a two-part series, probably about 12 to 15 minutes on each one of them. And uh, really, I hope you guys get out of this uh, what I did, which is just some insights into uh, their journey and kind of what they're expecting and what they're going to go through uh, for this year's uh, GS Trophy in Namibia. So uh, anyways, hope you enjoy and uh, leave some comments down below. I'd love to love to get your perspective. And um, again, always thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks. And we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Enjoy. Bye. Hey, everybody. Life's Journey at 50 here. So I have the pleasure today to sit down with two out of the three GS Trophy guys for this year. This is absolutely fantastic for the men's team. We're going to ask them a few questions. We're at March Moto Madness. Can you say hi? How you doing, Kirk? Hi. Billy, how you doing? Hey. Good. They're sitting in a little sun here, folks. So hopefully this will all be good. So let me get you guys in here. First and foremost, we kick off March Moto Madness. Kind of kicks off the riding season, right? A little Correct. How'd you guys have, like, last few days? I've had a good time. I always have a good time here. Yeah. What about you, Billy? Yeah, I was impressed with <laughs> the hill climb. I love this this neighborhood. And I, I had a lot of fun. Good, good. So, obviously, this kind of, to, to me, I know you guys haven't, been able to get together right for the most part yeah so you guys go spend, correct just to spend some time together too bad scott we're going to miss you by the way right um but uh this is a great opportunity because you guys are leaving in what september that's right so what do you guys got about five six months here to correct to kind of do some training together and stuff like that that's so right. so for me one of the questions that i i've always had is what started you guys on this journey to wanting to do the trophy like for you kirk what was your what, how did that start for you <clears throat> let's try to shorten this a little bit that's yeah, all right it, it's actually <clears throat> i live near the bmw performance center right and i was interested in looking at a gs and i went online to bmw's website and i saw this competition and i had never ridden a bmw right and i was like that's 15 minutes from my house so I went out, and uh, I was looking forward to seeing some crashes and carnage, and <laughs> you know. But th these guys could—they uh, handled the bikes pretty well, and uh, I, I thought it was interesting. And I got to talking to other competitors. Found out I could go out to the performance center and take a class, and that was my test ride on a BMW. I took the class at the performance center, the two-day off-road class, and I was like, "I've got to get one of these." So you were hooked. I, I, I was hooked. So uh, initially, I, I I went out and bought a, a used BMW, and uh, this rally, March Moto Madness, showed up after owning it for a month, didn't know a soul, and I've been going to rallies and just loving the people for about five years now. Oh wow! And um, cool. That's uh, and after owning that one for a year, I thought oh, I've got to get a new BMW, and I'm all I'm hooked. I'm in. Nice. I like it. By the way, folks, uh, you guys won't see too much on screen. This is about them, but you can see Kirk's bike over there. He's uh, did a great job this weekend. Billy, what about you? How did you like get hooked into all this stuff? I really thought I was a good rider, and then one day I went to a, uh, a GS Trophy regional qualifier. So it was just for the region, and I really thought I was great because I just compare myself to me. And uh, I got there and I saw what Mark Dickinson and Eugene Fury, uh, they were just tearing up everything. They said, do three donuts to the right. And I'm like, what do you mean? We need did do three circles. So I saw what they did and I'm like, man, I need to train for this. 
Then just two months after that, we went to the national qualifier and I saw them compete, win and eventually go to the GS Trophy. And I'm like, man, this, 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 this sounds awesome. This, to, to be able to ride a big bike like that, I want to do that. And it took me some time. It's a long story that I'll just skip. But I, at a stage, just said, this is silly. These cones and all of these, it's ridiculous. And then I realized how much that improves your riding and I started enjoying it. And um, then my biggest thing was my head, just to get out of my head and do the actual competition without worrying about everything else exterior that's going on. But I, I think when the, the ad came up for Namibia, I was just like, I have to do this. <laughs> Like, like this is it right and i practiced and the sweat was coming down and it was a, a tough thing but i just think that's awesome what bmw is doing with this it's an it's an event so awesome it's once every two years and it it's awesome to be on the usa team sorry scott's not here but kirk <laughs> i'm so happy you're here and i'm i'm so excited to go to namibia that, yeah. that's awesome i think you know <clears throat> from someone that and from my perspective, I love watching this stuff. Like I, I get hooked, like the, you know, the same. Like I, I, that's why I love, enjoy my time that I do get a chance to ride with you guys. It, it just makes me a better rider. But um, so, but with you guys doing this, and now that you're on the team, you know, people, you know, obviously, other people have same, you know, aspirations and stuff like that. Now that you're on the team. What's that experience been like so far of getting ready to really now, I'm sure that you guys are really going to start the meat grinder, really training. Yes. And and I know you guys are going to do some stuff at the Performance Center, correct? And I'll let you guys elaborate on that. And you guys are going to do some other training with, with you know, you guys together. Um, how's that process shaping up for you guys getting ready for the competition in South Africa or Namib Namibia? always butcher that so sorry <laughs> so, go ahead what, what do you think i mean what's that process looking for you guys of course we've all been doing a lot of riding ourselves right. uh, but this is the first opportunity we've had to get together as a team uh scott couldn't unfortunately make it this weekend but uh, we're going to actually spend the whole next week together and uh end up down in alabama at the national dual sport that they're having at Perry Mountain. Wow. And uh, we're going to practice some very specific maneuvers that maybe we have seen in previous trophies this week. Uh, <clears throat> we have been waiting to go to the Performance Center. They have generously offered us uh, three visits out oh, there. Nice. And uh, kind of waiting for them to get the new 1300. But we're not 100% sure we'll be on the 1300 in Namibia. Uh, so it'll give us a chance to ride either the 900 or the 1300 and give us all the opportunity for that. Cool. Billy, anything on the training coming up and yeah, well, you're looking forward to? To me, I, it's a lot about the time we need to spend together. We're all from different parts of the U.S. and we've seen each other little when we were doing the trophies. Yeah. We know very little about each other. And I feel the trophy is, is I would say, 50% riding and 50% everything else. Uh, mm -hmm. The physical, knowing your team, knowing how to solve a problem, because the things they put out in the trophy is really, hey, just take a minute, think about it, because sometimes it's, it's real simple and it's real logical. But our communication, because we're not, we always competed as individuals, but not anymore. Now we are a team and we need to function in a way that is going to make it the experience for us. So everything we take on, we take on as a team. And we need to be able to know each other well enough so that we know what to do right. with a scenario that's put to us. That makes sense, right? Because you want to be a cohesive team and, you, and really work together with a, as and, a unit. And, and sometimes at the uh international event you choose your team you know teammates will 
get chosen based on their specific skills. Uh, he may take part of the course, and I may decide to take part of the course. Gotcha. Uh, and uh, we've already seen uh, in our short time riding this weekend that Billy's got some skills that uh, I need to pick up on, and uh, maybe I've got a few that he can pick up on. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the next week. That's and, awesome. And sharing the that knowledge. You had mentioned, like, getting maybe a little bit of info from prior trophies. Oh, yes. So has any former GS US team members reached out to you? Have you guys had conversations to ask them kind of? I mean, obviously, you've got Sean and Louise who are our BMW right. ambassadors, and they kind of maybe give you guys some insights or tips or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's probably great to talk to former trophy guys, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Have, have, have you guys? Has uh, I, I was on the competition in california where i met Corey cool and um i had, i spent some time with him on the phone and we spoke and uh you spoke to ben mm -hmm. and um it, it's great because they gave us some insight to something you wouldn't think about something that just helps you to consider a different angle and i think a lot of these it's not straightforward and simple and um i would love to see the the, the previous trophy guys at every every qualifying event it's important to have those guys there because we look at them and they are our, our heroes okay. and to have communication with them and they give you an insight that makes it mm. helps a lot yeah Has, have you talked to any oh i've many of them <laughs> and I, i've met them mostly going to rallies and ended up you know riding with them right. not even knowing who they were uh, I have to say that I feel so fortunate to be able to have this opportunity and it's so humbling. Everybody's been so supportive and I often wondered why all the guys I've met who had been on the trophy team before, they were just so humble and nice and uh, they, they, they really, they had felt the same thing and I think they just tried to give back. Right. to the community that uh, they'd had an awesome experience with. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, again, I've been fortunate, as you guys know. I mean, you know, the yeah, I can, we can name a bunch of folks, right? But th that is a true statement. They are willing to help others yeah. get better at their riding. Mm -hmm. And for them to reach out to you guys or you guys to interact with them is a huge bonus for everybody, right? Because, again, it's lending that knowledge because they were there, they saw it, they experienced it, and they can pass some of that stuff on to you guys. Might not be the same location, but it might be a lot of the same stuff that goes on from BMW, right? Correct. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. Funny story, Ben Fopp, who was on the team that went to Albania. Gotcha. And that yeah. was last, the last one, right? Yes, yeah. two years ago. Two years ago, gotcha. Uh, <clears throat> he had decided he wanted to compete, and... A mutual friend said, told Ben, said, you need to call Kurt Graydon and ride with him. He, he, he's training for this. So I gave him all the info that I could. And of course, he beat me in the qualifying. <laughs> That's great. I love it. I think it. he even felt, he come, if I think he's just felt guilty after, <laughs> after I told him all the things that he, I, you should train this way and this and not expect this. And, uh, but, it, but isn't, yeah, he beat me by a spot, you know. But, but isn't that, thing. um, Again, that's that's something that I've always talked about this community in general, right? Is that people are willing to share yeah. tips, tricks, knowledge, help, guide, whatever it is. And to think about here, it was a little bit reversed, yeah. and now you're going, right? And yeah. that, you know, it's, it's funny to see that. It is. Well, you're fortunate because you're getting to go to Namibia. <laughs> it's oh. way better. <laughs> oh, wow. Ben, did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 but great. but what is wonderful about this whole event is you have this one chance you have many chances to to try to make the team to compete to learn to explore but when you make the team that's it you can't have another opportunity to go you make space for the next guys and everything about this event is to to me improving the skill of the rider it's not just a marketing thing it's not just um you know guys on bikes everybody gets better because you improve your style of riding you see what somebody else is doing people give you advice and you become better out in the mountain 
although we do a lot of things here on the ground there's so much that you gain from this and i think people sometimes miss that completely it's an awesome event and we become better riders we become safer riders and we we don't break our bikes that much <laughs> unlike certain people that may be sitting here I, hands up I, I was worse than you when i started yeah. oh man that's great so so you've you've got you guys are going to be doing a lot of training together uh, coming up. You've got the Performance Center stuff coming up. Um, what's it like, like, the family, like your families? Like, you know, so, I mean, this is a lot on the families, too, right? I mean, it is, you, you know, I so.